DJ Doraemon. Hey you guys, it's me Rachel and today I'm going to show you guys how I installed this glueless wig from Dola Hair using only hairspray. So this is the wig. I did go ahead and bleach the knots on it and I did go ahead and pluck the wig a little bit. And as you guys can also see, this is a 360 lace frontal wig, which means you guys can lay the wig down in the back as well. So I went ahead and put some foundation on the wig. And at this point, I should have put it on my cap too, but I didn't. So if you are doing this, put it on your cap or just do like the ball cap method because you could see my cap sticking through. But once everything's all done and it's like all complete, you won't see that anymore. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the lace off. And as you guys can see, their packaging is super cute up there. But yeah, just go ahead and cut your lace off and then we'll get into laying it down with the hairspray. I'm taking this hair out because I kind of like how my hairline looks better with the hair out. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the yellow freeze blast spray from Got To Be Glued. And this is all that I used to lay the wig down. I didn't use any gel or anything. So you're just gonna put that on your hairline in sections and I blow dried it on cool and just lay down each section and you wanna take your comb as well and kinda like press the lace into your forehead. Also, don't mind the cap that you guys can see, it's gonna go away. It always ends up like almost off my head anyway, so. So now I'm gonna go ahead and tie my edges up and I'm just gonna let that sit for a while and then go ahead and style my hair. So to style the hair, I ended up just using water and a product by As I Am. I'll leave a link down below for you guys, but it really didn't take much at all to style this hair. So now I'm gonna show you guys how I cut the lace off. I literally just started at the ear and went all the way around and you wanna cut as close as you can to that hairline um, to make it look the best. So once you're done cutting it, I don't do any baby hairs in the front, but I did wanna show you guys the parting a little. It is a little bit orange, but however you do decide to part it, just go ahead and put some foundation or whatever will match your skin tone on the part. So now I'm just gonna do my makeup, and if you guys wanna watch that, you can keep watching or fast forward, but I figured I'd leave this in because I was doing my makeup anyway, so why not?
Okay, so I'm finally done with my makeup and I did have to go through and re-wet the hair and apply a little bit more product on it. It did need some more product to kind of be more defined, I guess you could say. So I did go add some more product, but as you guys can see, it still was super cute. And now I'm gonna show you guys the different hairstyles that I tried with it. So you can just wear it straight down like this. And again, I just wanted to show you guys like the parting. Um, like I did say, whatever way you do decide to part it, if you add foundation that matches your skin tone, it'll be bomb. So the next style I'm trying is a half up, half down, and I didn't like how the ponytail looks, so I ended up doing it in a bun, which I think would be really cute on vacation, or like in the summertime. But yeah, this is the bun hairstyle. to try the wet look so this is my last kind of thing I tried I just went ahead and wet my hair and then I applied the gel that you guys are gonna see all throughout my hair I'll leave everything linked down below for you guys but yeah I just applied that thoroughly through my hair and it gives you that wet look that lasts all day long yeah those are like three ways you can wear this wig if you guys are interested in it I'll be sure to leave a link down below for you guys like I said this wig is from Della Hair let me know what you guys think. If you like this video, be sure to give me a huge thumbs up. Let me comment down below. Do not forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.